We try to provide a unique experience on Maui. We offer rides that cover some land that you really can't see any other way. On the remote southern tip of Maui, Helene Board and her husband Pat run McKenna Stables. The boards raise and train all their own horses, and they specialize in small, personalized riding tours. It's just a spectacular way to see the island. It's also a part of the history of the Hawaiians is, is the uh, ranching and the horseback riding, which is a very big part of the Hawaiian culture. So in that way, it's nice, too, because it kind of carries on that Hawaiian cowboy Paniolo culture. Their shortest ride is three hours, going up 2,000 feet in elevation to a huge ranch called Ula Palakula Ranch. Ula Palakula Ranch is a 20,000 acre ranch, which is inaccessible by vehicle. And it's a fairly historic ranch as well. There's lava flows that are 200 years old that run through the ranch. Pat is a third generation Kama Aina. He's, his family was, came to the islands in the sugar plantation days and he um, goes back several generations. He has a great love for horses and for the ranch life and he also has a great love for the Aina, the land of, in Hawaii. So he is very well suited for his job and that he enjoys what he's doing and enjoys the people and enjoys sharing this gift of Maui to other people when they come to the islands. We just rode above uh, La Perouse Bay and the last eruption that happened on the island of Maui. It's pretty remote side of the island, pretty unexplored side of the island. You get to see the southernmost point. And uh, just great riding, you know. Hey. Well, Ulapalakua Ranch is one of the larger cattle ranches and one of the oldest ranches on the island of Maui. It's on the south slope of Haleakala, and it covers a tremendous amount of land. Um, riding in Maui is very, it's very interesting because it's you see all the lava and all the hills. It's very peaceful, and it just helps you to realize where you are and just think about how peaceful it is and quiet. Very spectacular scenery, really dramatic contrast in the lava and in the, the uh, ocean views and just quite, quite pretty, very hard to describe.